Master Jeff. How are you fixed? Not yet. Hmm. Sir. He's not fixed. I mean, we were, you should do the Hickory Hill thing. What's, what's the Hickory Hill thing? <laughs> Friends! Oh. We have garlic here today in this <laughs> church. <laughs> Friends, we are gathered here today to perform a radio program. One, one of undue circumstance, one of confusion and delight. And I want to tell you that in just a matter of moments, this program will continue on along in a more proper manner, featuring songs. Ladies and gentlemen, Without further ado, without any more hesitation or haranguing, I would like to introduce Jeff Buckley and his harmonium. Check it out. Bye. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Buckley. Carrying a box. Bring you and your box over here, then, Jeff. I would like to announce to our listeners and to the folks in the room that uh, coming up in just a matter of seconds, Gavin Friday. Well, a matter of minutes, rather. We have a bit of setup to do. And in that interim, I am going to disappear into Radio Land and chat with this man, Jeff. Greetings, Jeff. Whose song is that? Where is that from? That's a, by ben, a song by Benjamin Britten, a British composer. Is he British? He, was, he was British. He, uh, he's, he's pretty modern, actually. I think he's, he's, he's very post-romantic romantic period. He wrote a song called Like Wake Dirge, too. Right. Hmm. And uh, what else? Still Falls the Rain. He wrote these... Uh, he wrote... Uh, oh, shit, what is that? Peter Grimes, the opera... He wrote uh, Turn of the Screw, he wrote all kinds of things, but there are these canticles that he wrote. This is not one of them, but this is a canticle. What is that box? Can you describe that it's box? It's a harmonium. Can you describe it for our listeners? Well, uh, imagine a, a, a box. It looks like an enlarged version of uh, those toy pianos you see. Uh, and there's a big squeeze box panel on the back. And then you can play really cool Gavin Friday uh, transitional music. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I'm really excited. I never saw him before, ever, ever, ever in my life. You've never, you've never seen. Never him. saw. I never experienced the man in my life. Well, I'm gonna be. I'm really excited. Momentarily. So it takes able. doing a gig to get me out of the house to see anything. Jeff, have you been cooped up all day? Is that? Yeah. You managed to get out, though. I meant, well, you know, if I, the first thing I did was, of course, I got some burgers and fries, you know. Of course. pre kick burgers and fries just like we did last time. That's a crucial element. Crucial. It's some horrible stuff. I can feel it now. My guest is Jeff Buckley. Some of you may uh, be familiar with Jeff from his performance last week on this very program, uh, but in a more, uh, I would say, intimate setting. <laughs> Wouldn't you say? Yeah, but for a club, this is pretty intimate. Yes, the Knitting Factory is a relatively intimate uh, vibe. Yeah. It's dark, it's moody. That's true. And you, you can expect anything. This is where I saw David Kale do a really amazing piece. And, uh, I mean, usually I'm used to, like, walking in and seeing, like, those those super, uh, those super groups, you know, those downtown arty super groups where it's, like, you know... You mean like the from the from the Goomblats and then from Wolverine Toenail, this guy, and then you know. It's you like mean like the cryptids who are about to come up after Gavin Friday? Well, this is different because they're cool. Oh, but I'm talking about you know. Okay, <laughs> you be careful what you say on the air. Well, I know, <laughs> but you know, like you know, and and goons like me get up and stuff like that. But I never saw a performance piece at a club before, huh. and. uh but I've seen performance pieces, but David, David's, and it was with Roy Nathanson. Roy Nathanson's a tenor saxophone player, and he got a band together. And I tell everybody about this one thing, and they, they all seem to have missed it. Hmm. 
and uh, and I'm and I'm a you know I'm a new person to the to the scene, and everybody knows about David Kale, but this was a really cool piece. My guest, who I'm speaking with right now, it's something Jeff, you've never done, is Jeff Buckley. It's something you want to do. And we're smack dab in the middle of you. Uh, for those of you who just tuned in, we're smack dab in the middle of a live remote broadcast from the Knitting Factory, 47 East Houston Street, featuring uh, the music of Gavin Friday, the Cryptids, Jeff Buckley, and Delia Scaife. For those of you who just tuned in, I'm sorry you missed Delia, uh, and uh, you've just missed Jeff. Jeff, would you play us some or a little more transitional music? Oh, into sure. the Ladies and gentlemen, as we sit here in a radio studio known as the Knitting Factory, Patiently awaiting to the arrival, uh, 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 the arrival at the stage of a one Gavin Friday. We will all take a, a moment to gather our wits about, uh, about us, in particular myself, trying to host this. <clears throat> okay, I'm taking that moment now. You're listening to WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey, where the melody festers on and on and on. <laughs> <laughs> 